72-year-old East Greenbush man is accused of sexually abusing a four-year-old girl. Police say she was attending daycare at his home. Anna Myler is live in the newsroom with our top story tonight. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, Jessica. Jeffrey Haynes and his wife have been running a daycare out of their home for 33 years. We knocked on their door tonight, but the 72-year-old didn't have much to say about the accusation that he molested a four-year-old girl there. To you about the recent allegations that are against no. you? No, I, I have no desire to talk about it. Thank you. State police say 10 children ranging from 18 months to 13 years old are currently attending the private home daycare on Celeste Drive in East Greenbush. One of those children is a four-year-old girl who recently told her parent the 72-year-old touched her inappropriately. State police arrested Haynes on Wednesday after conducting an investigation with Child Protective Services, an arrest that caught neighbors off guard. It's, it's a tragic and shocking event. Um, they've had a daycare there for decades and I was very, very shocked to hear this. Well, absolutely disgusted, yeah. I mean, I have four kids of my own. Jason Reagan says he knows his neighbors well, and sometimes Haynes would walk his children to the school bus. I hope to God they're not false accusations to ruin him. Um, and if they are true accusations, I hope he gets what he deserves, because it's one of the most disgusting things you could possibly do. For a small, innocent child, they're defenseless. It, it's absolutely horrifying. Reagan says Haynes is retired and has taken a more predominant role caring for the children since his wife began receiving chemotherapy treatments. I can't imagine Carol knew. It, it is, is the first thing that I thought of myself because we speak every day. And I, 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 I would have to say that I can't, I, I can't fathom that she knew that. She wouldn't have allowed it, the type of person she is. Now police want to know if one of the other hundreds of children that have spent time inside the Haynes home has a similar story. State police tell me the daycare, which was operating without a license, has been shut down. They're also asking anyone who has ever used the daycare to have a discussion with their children. Haynes will be back in court on January 22nd. Reporting live in the newsroom, Anna Myler, News Channel 13. Back to you, Jim and Jessica. Anna, thank you. And in tonight